Um, today we did our 33rd successful release of a bald eagle back into the wild. Um, it's been a long, you know, we've been open since 2006, so a long 14, going on 15 years. Um, I did a ceremony here um, for this eagle and for the people that was here. Um, the Iowa tribe and other tribes in the United States and throughout, you know, the Canada's and in you know, Mexico, um, we use eagle feathers for traditional reasons. We believe, my tribe believes that the eagle was the only thing to see the face of the creator. So when that bird flew out of the sun, it dropped feathers to us. And we believe if we use those feathers um, for ceremonies, then um, the God takes those prayers. We use that cedar and that smoke, then God will take those prayers and, and help us out. So when we did this for this eagle here, um, we prayed that he would take off and fly very well, really well. And I prayed for all the ones that were here, the ones from the Eagle Aviary, my family, my little girl, and the ones from Oklahoma Fish and Wildlife uh, Department. Um, so we use these feathers in the ceremony for um, a lot of good things. So. Um, I was given this right by my uncle Victor um, when I was about eight years old and I've slowly learned the craft of it and able to be able to use that cedar and that tobacco and those feathers for that purpose. Um, that's a little bit about what I did. Um, the Awe tribe is uh, one of 39 uh, federally recognized tribes in Oklahoma um, and one of uh, hundreds of throughout the United States that have those same type of values. So. I mean, I thought it was really cool. I mean, the, the, the fact that, that they can rehabilitate these animals and put them back in the wild uh, is, just, is just tremendous. Uh, I want to thank, uh, thank the tribe for all their hard work and the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife for what they do and the support that they have uh, for these beautiful, beautiful, majestic animals. You know, as a game warden, it's awesome to see uh, the birds that we pick up get released. It's, we don't always get to do that, so it's an awesome experience. And then to, to see the ceremony that they, they do to go along with it, um, it, it makes it that much more special. So, pretty awesome. Every year we have a number of calls come in on injured birds or other injured wildlife. This particular call come in to Spencer Grace, who's the K County Warden. The bird was actually in Osage County, so Spencer relayed the call to me. Uh, I went out to the site and the bird was right off uh, highway, highway 60 which runs through Osage County and the bird was surrounded or being chased by a bunch of young cattle steers and there were about 10 cars that were watching this eagle because he was so visible to the highway and so I, I showed up and I went out into the field and uh, caught the bird with a net and at that point, once I knew that it was an eagle, I contacted the, the Iowa tribe and we agreed to meet later that night. And so that was the process and how we come about the eagle. It was from originally from the public uh, calling, trying to get help for the bird, the call coming to, the Spencer coming to me and then I called the Iowa tribe. Larry called me once he had obtained the bird from Spencer and we met up here at Sooner Lake to, uh, for me to get the individual. It was about 11 o'clock at night and we were able to get him back to our facility for an assessment and future care. Um, so he didn't have anything that was broken, there wasn't any toxins in his system and so essentially it came down to a soft tissue injury and those can take a short amount of time to a long amount of time to heal. Um, but this guy is doing great out in his cage. He's able to fly from end to end, obtain food out of our pond, um, and he was definitely ready to go back to the wild. So we're a unique state that we have both uh, golden and bald eagles here in Oklahoma. Um, we're run by the Iowa tribe of Oklahoma, in which eagles are a very, very important uh, part of their culture. And so we invite anybody that wants to come out to learn about eagles, how they play into the tribal uh, culture, how they play into the ecosystem, uh, to come out and visit us at the Grace Snow Eagle House. <laughs>